bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Room, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Room, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Pay attention when you drive. Uh, is that your license plate? No. Hell, it isn't even my car. You need to be more careful when you drive. I could have smashed into you. I'm going to make a big deal out of this. Go ahead. I don't even have a license. You what? I didn't even, I didn't even pay for this car. Yeah, and we're both drunk, too. Yeah. I don't believe it. Believe it. Also, we're smuggling immigrants into the country for cheap labor. Hola, señor. This is Manuelo. He's from Honduras. Hola, Mano. Como estas? No te molesta. <laughs> yeah, he's got a stash of LSD in his stomach, too. He's getting 5000 just for him to go to Canada. After that, we don't really care how they get that shit out of him. Hold on. It's happening again. What's happening? Sometimes I have seizures from the shit in my belly, and, well, you don't want to know. I usually black out. And then when I wake up, I'm in a puddle of puke and blood. Okay, I think I've seen enough. Oh, but do stay. No, I just want to get the hell out of here. Ha ha! We showed that guy. Yeah, really. What kind of moron would bother to report an accident when you don't even hit him? Yeah, really? What a buffoon. For some reason, I think it might have been a bad idea to rip his intestines out and eat them, though. Why, because it's vicious and mindlessly brutal? Fuck no. That's a bad idea because you probably caught some kind of disease for all that man seed that was packed along his intestinal lining. You know what? I did notice that his intestines taste a little different compared to most people's intestines. Wait a minute. Have you ever eaten human intestine before? Just drive. Alright ladies, this moral's for you. As a man, I have needs and desires, one of which is the constant longing for female companionship, a quest, if you will, to find a nice girl to hold when I'm lonely, to talk to when I'm sad, to share things in my life with, to curl up into a ball and watch a bunch of cheesy movies with. I want them to be the first and last thing I see in the morning and at night before I go to sleep. But what I want most of all is to find someone who if I'm somewhere thinking about them, she's somewhere thinking about me too. Besides, I can't very well lick my own balls, can I? Romance. I like to fuck and fall asleep.